So here in this video, we're going to prove that the trig identity, the cotangent of x multiplied by the secant of x, is equal to the cosecant of x. And basically what we're doing with trig identities is we're making the left side of the equation equal to the right side of the equation. So somehow we got to change this left side and make it look the same as the right side. And the first thing I like to do is rewrite everything in terms of sine and cosine. So here with this cotangent of x, I'm going to rewrite it in terms of sine and cosine. And you should have this memorized already. The cotangent of x is equal to the cosine of x divided by the sine of x. And if you don't have this memorized already, please write this down. The cotangent of x is equal to the cosine of x divided by the sine of x. So now I'm going to do the same thing for the secant of x. The secant of x is just the reciprocal of the cosine. So the secant of x is equal to 1 over the cosine of x. And once again, if you don't have this memorized, please write this down. The secant of x is equal to 1 over the cosine of x. And the right-hand side of the equation stays the same. This is all equal to the cosecant of x. So now we have rewritten the left side of the equation in terms of sine and cosine. And notice how we have a cosine of x in the numerator and the denominator. So both of the cosines are going to cancel out. And the only thing that we're left with is 1 over the sine of x. And once again, our right side always stays the same. So this is all equal to the cosecant of x. So now notice how we have the reciprocal of the sine of x. We have 1 over the sine of x. And we know that the reciprocal of the sine of x is the cosecant of x. And this is good because now we made the left side of the equation, the cosecant of x, equal to the right side of the equation. And once we made both sides equal, that means we have proven the identity. Now we know that the cotangent of x multiplied by the secant of x is equal to the cosecant of x.